we're back in the boat, Koda and Brayden. So we have something a little bit new and different for you guys today. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of a tournament, a 1v1 between me and Bray. Yeah. So let Bray explain the rules for you. Alright boys, here's the rules. You have till 12 o'clock, best five fish, and you only have three lures to choose from out of your own tackle box. Loser has to buy the other lure of their choice. So you're buying me a spinnerbait? No, you're <laughs> buying me a new frog. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because he, he loses frogs in the tree. We They're lose weedless. frogs in a tree. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. But <laughs> let's get to her here. Alrighty. Little 1v1 action. Little 1v1 action, baby. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get started. Yeah. Let's go. All right, boys. First lure I'm going with the Guggen Trench Hog. Nice little uh, Texas rig going on here. Let's see what we can do. First cast. Obviously, scale. I'm throwing this back. All right. This is just you want to know what it is. Nice little tiny guy here. Not even on the board. I don't yet. really, really want this guy. But here. First fish. Obviously, we're keeping best five, and I, we know there's bigger fish in here than this. <laughs> this isn't bad start. Got me a little excited, ready to go, but smell you later. <laughs> Here we go. Please do me well, little guy. If I was a bass, I'd want to do that. Hopefully after today, Braden will be buying me a new spitterbait. Hopefully. Alrighty. I'm already switching lures because... <laughs> That's what I think I'm gonna be doing today, is just switching between the three lures. So this is my first lure I used. It's a little Sanko, a little white. It's wacky rig style, so that just like flops around the water. That didn't work for me. So a couple casts of that. And then obviously I'm gonna be throwing this little diamond frog because I think this is the one that's gonna win it for me. I say I get a bite, and then Braden throws his lure right directly where I just cast it. Cheating wow. guy already, turning me so I can't even cast into the good Man, stuff. It's... Oh no way, come on. So first fish of the tournament. Also guys, if you guys are liking the content we're watching right here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Maybe throw a like in and a comment. But that is a tank, first fish of the day. First fish of the day, we'll get that on the scale. On the frog, he really wanted that, oh my god. Thoughts? It's a good fish. You a little it's choked a or what? Well, need a bite, but uh, I'm not discouraged. There's a bite right there. That's a tank. I'm All right. right. Let's get it on the scale. First fish of the day. Nice. So, like I said, I'm a sore loser when it comes to losing, so I really hope this is like pushing three pounds or so. It would be unreal if this was three pounder. Get me on the board. Oh my God, perfect. 2.8 pounds locked in. Ooh. 2.8 pounds for the first bass. I'm on the board with 2.8. So Bray caught a fish this morning and it was just a little dinky rock bass. 
so he didn't want to didn't want to put it on the scale, but that's a great start for me. Nice big bass. Here we go. 2.8, baby. Let's go. I don't know how far along we are in this fishing tournament. I believe we're like an hour in, almost close to pushing two hours in. We've only got one, two fish in the boat. Braden's first fish wasn't big enough. He didn't want to weigh it. They were just a little rock bass. Mine ended up weighing 2.8 pounds, I believe. So, I don't know if you know what that means, but quarter pounds on the lead with 2.8. Basic pounds. What that means, but I'm all good. We're gonna try out this new spot here, and hopefully, I can get out of it. So I have a feeling that might happen. This is a good spot. So if anything is gonna happen, it's gonna be here. And I don't know. I'm looking to get another 2.8. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. <laughs> Oh no! Right there, right there, right there, right there. We're gonna get one. So, a little bit of an update. Today has been super frustrating with the bass fishing. We've been trying every little thing I even know about bass fishing. Like, we've been fishing shorelines, we've been fishing heavy cover on shorelines, trees, falling down trees, shaded areas, thick weed bed, and we've managed to only pull one decent nice bass out of it so I'm gonna try a little different tactic we're gonna be fishing a little bit deeper I think we'd be sitting in around like close to 10 to 15 feet but there's a lot of heavy weed beds with well I call it ambush weeds because these bass like to sit in these weed beds and ambush small bait fish so we're gonna be trying that going after these fish here so it's a pretty good spot so Hopefully we can pull a couple of bass out of her. I'm gonna be throwing this little cotton cordell. It's a shallow diving, it's almost like a, it's supposed to mimic a bait fish. So I'm gonna throw that, I'm gonna try to find some heavy thick weed, throw it right beside it, and just see if I can't lure anything out of there. I don't know what Braden's gonna be throwing, he hasn't said, but. I don't know. All right guys, as you can tell, this is not our usual <sighs> docking or launching zone. We had a terrible morning today. He caught a good one. I didn't catch anything except a couple little guys, but we're gonna get back out here in a new spot that we've never really tried ever before. And what we've heard is there's some good chunkers in some there. Some good goodies in there, some eh? Goodies. And we got a scale this time. So yeah. we're not missing out. You guys will get to see that we're not lying when we hold these fish up to the camera. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, so hopefully we can get a couple on camera today and stop this draw and not catch some fish because have we been on the water for? Probably like since, well not 12 hours, but probably like at least a good eight. Eight hours of straight on the water. Guess how many fish we caught in eight hours? Well, comment if you think you have the right answer. I'm sure you do. But uh, <laughs> we, we've gotten one fish and I mean I caught a couple little guys, but that does not count. We know we can do so much better, but... Yeah, it's been a really depressing day today, but... We're still we're out here trying. We're gonna try her out again. We're still out here trying. And hopefully, this time, 
third time's a charm, usually is what they say, so let's see if it's... Maybe it's a little bite on... Time too. Maybe a little bite on salt and vinegar chips. Save those for us. <laughs> Alright, let's get after him. drag on that one, I fixed her. Yeah. That's actually nice. That's way better than I thought when it was in the water. No wonder the hook set felt so friggin' tight. Oh man, that hook is in there. Look at this, Coda. You guys can see that? It's not even popping through and it's just stuck. Grab those pliers with me, then. Second fish today. We, this is actually really amazing right now because we've been skunked pretty much all day. Coda caught one, 2.8, but this still doesn't compare, but you cannot ask for a better freaking start to the evening. See you later, little guy. That's a good one. Is it a big one? Yeah, it's not bad. No, it's a big one. That's, a, that's not bad. Oh yeah, about the same one as I just got, eh? Nice that finally ends my such a slow day. Oh my god. Can't even believe how slow of a day it's been for me. I'm going, how many fish think? 20, 23 fish the one day to two. I'm at two. And this is it. So hopefully I can get more. I'm not too impressed with today though, not gonna lie. That's like it's not pulling back. No, but so if you okay. Right there. But if so like if you're pulling up, like it'll, sometimes if it's a fish, it. it should like almost like nudge back at you. Yeah, yeah. Like, Let it nudge. If it's a nudge first, then you go like this, and there's nothing. Then you rip it, but there's no nudge in like. Oh, that's a tank. That's get the net. Get the net. Get the net, boys. Get the net. Just keep quick, quick, quick. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Hey, we're recording. There's no swearing. Okay, boys. This might be the fish Kona just caught earlier, but I was trying to explain something to Soup because it is really tough sometimes figuring out whether it's a bite or it's a, you know. Don't lose me. I need a picture with that. What are we at? What are we at? 3.4. 3.4. That's the same size as the one you got last night, isn't it? Ew! <laughs> so hard. How is that even? Look at that! Look at that, boys! It's not even hooked into him. It's literally caught on him somehow. I don't know what Just look for yourself. Look at the hook. You bit it sideways. It's stuck right here. Look, like you literally can just go like this. That was so weird, man. Just smack your mouth. I can't ever get it off the feet, dude. Just flip it up into the boat. Oh, what the hell? Really thought that was a big bass the way I set the hook on him, man. That was badass. Well, you got it just in case it is big. Any fish is a good fish today, at least. See, look at that one. Another one. Look right down in there. Can you even see it? It's dark. It's in Hold on. He chokes that bad. That's cool. Hold on. And I can't get this out. Nice. Something just went right there in front of me. That really hurt. Look at this. That's heavy. We aren't losing it. Get it in the friggin' net. It's gone. Nope. Wait, maybe not. Like yeah, it's, it's gone. Is it? 
Yep. What's going on, man? <laughs> that was heavy. So today was a pretty good day. We're just getting off the water, but when I say pretty good, it started out super rough. We had plans this morning, or let me say, we've been out here since five and it's almost nine o'clock now. And we had plans to actually have a little 1v1 competition between me and Coda. He technically won with a huge fish. I can't remember the weight. What it was, was it? 3.4? Yeah. 3.4. 3.4 I think it was. Anyway, it's the rest of the day just kind of dragged on we couldn't find fish couldn't find nothing to save and my life. we also figured out something cool that we actually have been fishing today a little bit wrong not necessarily the wrong but in the wrong spot so we took it from a different approach on the last fish tonight and actually started fishing from the deep just to see if we could change anything and sure enough we actually got some pretty big fish There's some pretty nice fish and also we lost a quite a bit of also fish. I got a new PB tonight, so. <laughs> but nice. so yeah, um, again, I'm just gonna say, please, if you guys are liking what you guys are seeing, please share it with your friends. Get the word out there. Just maybe drop a comment or a like, and tell we're us gonna, how you feel. We're gonna be coming out every single day we can to get more videos and more content for you guys. I know that a couple guys are asking me to go out and fish for some pike, so I think we're gonna be doing that approach here very soon. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go after some alligators, but for right now, we're just trying our best to keep some videos rolling for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying what we're uh, putting out for you guys. And yeah, stay one tight last with those lines. Right, one last thing. I just want to say a huge shout out to the man behind the camera. I think it's time you turn the camera around for a quick second. There he is. <laughs> the brains behind the whole operation, boys. So, yeah, that's our buddy Noah. He's pretty much the backbone of this whole crew he's the one that makes us look good in the camera he's the one that's editing all the all the footage he's making it look unreal and we're super duper proud of the kid also we have something super awesome that's going to be coming up next we're going to do a little bit of a catch and cook yes maybe we can still squeeze in a couple of bass because i know they taste really great and it's fairly still fairly cold but if we wait any longer we probably can't do it yeah so hopefully we can get so, at least a catch and cook of some sort yeah get a catch and cook of some bass maybe i was thinking about maybe doing some walleye couple eyes a couple walleyes but uh yeah so there's plenty more ideas for us to throw at you guys so i hope you guys are liking what you're watching and just keep tuning in to tiny negative trackers tv keep those lines tight again